Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Odisha Post Live and these are today's top headlines. The Odisha government has notified a new public-private partnership policy 2023 to attract private investment in the construction of public infrastructure. The new policy notified by the State Finance Department will be applicable to all infrastructure projects including roads, ports, railways, airports among others. The government has also made a provision for levying user fees to boost the commercial viability of the projects. A 36-year-old tribal woman farmer from Odisha's Bhumiya community has received an invitation to participate in the upcoming G20 summit scheduled to be held in New Delhi, September 9 and 10. Raimati Ghuria's inclusion in the summit is linked to her role in an exhibition centered on millets including millet startups, millet rangoli and live cooking. Three youths were arrested for posing as fake RTO officers and asking for extortion money from truck drivers in Raurkela, Odisha. They were arrested by Jharkhand Sethetang police and sent to Tsimdega jail. The three accused are Jayaprakash Gupta of Sundargarh, Praveen Pradhan of Angul and Tutu Dehuri. The Economic Offences Wing Bhubaneswar arrested one more accused in connection with the bank fraud of over Rs 4 crore. The accused Mohammad Sarfaraz Javed was arrested in Bhubaneswar Tuesday. Sarfaraz was arrested based on the complaint filed by Priyabrata Panda, the Chief Executive Officer of Urban Cooperative Bank Limited, Katak. A young woman was brutally killed late Tuesday night on the Jira River Bridge between Bhadigaon under the Bhatli Police Station of Burgar District and Sirigeda village under Sohela block. The miscreant slit the young woman's throat with a sharp weapon and threw the body in the river below the bridge. A minor girl has gone missing while bathing at Ghasipura police station in Keonjar district. The girl who went to bathe in the Shendhai river nearby has been identified as Shashmita Nahak. Locals looked for the girl and also reached out to the fire department. However, she is yet to be rescued. A low-pressure area has been formed over the state, the Regional Meteorological Centre in Bhubaneswar announced Wednesday. The agency said that light to heavy rain in coastal districts of Odisha is likely and issued orange warnings for Malkangiri, Koraput and Nabrangpur. The Supreme Court granted interim protection from arrest to four journalists and members of the Editors Guild of India in two cases registered by the Manipur Police over a fact-finding report in the state. A bench headed by Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachur granted interim protection until September 11 while issuing notice to the state of Manipur. Congress leader Sonia Gandhi wrote to Prime Minister Narendra Modi Wednesday seeking the agenda of the special parliament sessions scheduled for September 18 to 22, stating that the political parties are unaware of the agenda. She also listed nine issues and urged the Prime Minister to allow time for discussion on them in the upcoming session. Prime Minister Narendra Modi Wednesday asked his ministers to counter any attacks on Sanatan Dharma. Modi made the remarks while interacting with the Council of Ministers ahead of G20 summit in New Delhi. Meanwhile, Udayanidhi remained defiant and said Centre's decision to not invite President Murmu for the inauguration of new parliament was an example of social discrimination allegedly propagated by Sanatan Dharma. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.